Many vaccines are ready to use after opening, but some are lyophilized or freeze-dried. These vaccines, like the ones listed here, must be reconstituted with a diluent before they are administered. It is essential to know how to reconstitute vaccines safely and correctly. Reuse prevention or RUP syringes are the recommended choice for this process because they can be used only once. We will review the steps for reconstituting vaccines with the correct diluents. The first step is to select the correct diluent. It is critical to use the right one. Administering a vaccine with the wrong diluent has led to serious adverse events, including death. Always use diluent from the same manufacturer as the vaccine. Diluent is not interchangeable. Different vaccines have different diluents. Also, you may need to cool the diluent before mixing with the vaccine. Keep the diluent in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours, but be careful to never freeze the diluent. Finally, check the VVM and the expiry date for both the diluent and the vaccine to make sure they can be used. Remember that vaccines should be reconstituted immediately before use, just before you administer the vaccine to the first eligible child. Next, you will open the syringe, vials, and ampules. First, remove the RUP syringe from its wrapping. Peel the package open from the syringe plunger end or detach the plastic caps. If there is a detachable needle, fit it into the hub of the syringe and take off the cap without touching the needle. Note that each type of RUP syringe requires a specific technique for its use, so follow the manufacturer's instructions. But all types have a self-locking mechanism that allows only one use. The plunger can go back and forth only once, so take care not to move it unnecessarily. Open the vaccine and diluent vial or ampule. For a metal cap, Use a file to lift the pre-cut center and bend it back. For a plastic cap, flip it off with your thumb or slowly twist it depending on the specific instructions for the type of vial. To open a glass ampule, hold the ampule between the thumb and the middle finger and support the top with the index finger. Then, scratch the ampule neck with a file. Then, gently break off the top taking care to avoid injury from the sharp glass. If you injure yourself, discard the ampule since the contents may have been contaminated. Cover the wound before opening a new ampule. Now you are ready to fill the RUP syringe with diluent. Insert the needle in the diluent vial or ampule and move the tip of the needle to the lowest part or bottom of the vial. Pull the plunger back to fill the syringe, making sure to empty the full contents of the vial. Remove the needle from the vial. If needed, remove air in the syringe by holding it upright and pushing the plunger slowly until all the air goes out. Now you can mix the diluent with the vaccine. Insert the needle into the vaccine vial. Push the plunger in completely to ensure that all the diluent goes into the vaccine vial. Depress the plunger slowly to avoid frothing inside the vaccine vial. Remove the needle from the vial and ensure that the syringe is locked. Gently swirl or shake the vial by holding at the neck to mix the diluent with the vaccine. Take care not to touch the rubber membrane or opening. Finally, properly dispose of the syringe and diluent vial or ampule. Shops such as needles and broken ampules should be placed in a safety box. Place empty or opened vials and the plastic part of the RUP syringe into a separate container for disposal. Place the reconstituted vaccine vial in the foam pad of your vaccine carrier. The vaccine is ready to administer.
Remember that the WHO multi-dose vial policy does not apply to reconstituted vaccines. The reconstituted vaccine should be discarded at the end of the immunization session or within six hours of reconstitution, whichever comes first. You should now know how to safely reconstitute vaccines using the correct diluent and an RUP syringe.